Well, actually, it was, it was my two most recent podcasts, I think. So changing my mind, I mean, it's, this may seem like kind of weak beer uh, as an example of a change of mind, but it was a, it was a genuine shift in my perception of, of the political situation with Trump and in particular the way I viewed the, the outcome of the election. I, I, I tweeted about this, so you may have heard this, but I just did a podcast with Neil Ferguson, who's far less worried about Trump than, than I am. And in particular, he's, he has a, a far darker view of what would have happened had Hillary Clinton won the election. So he, he thinks that there would have been you know, massive social unrest, that the election of Trump discharged a kind of uh, anger and agitation that, that had to be discharged. And, it was, and the election of Clinton with just more you know, people from Goldman Sachs staffing you know, the, the, the cabinet would have brought a crisis that, that and again, so who knows who's right, but I realized that in all of my worrying about Trump and my bemoaning the outcome of the election, I have spent very little time actually thinking about the consequences of Clinton getting elected. And that actually did something to me. And I, I, didn't go, I don't go on about it in the podcast, but I, I flag it in the podcast, and you can hear that if you, haven't, if you haven't listened to it. It actually dissected out an opinion that I sort of no longer have, which is I don't actually know what would have happened if Clinton had been elected. And I'm not, it could, could well have been as bad as Neil thinks. And, and, I, and Neil has a, a further story where he thinks it's actually it's going to be a good thing for liberalism that Trump got elected, and there will be if you know, the left doesn't totally blow it, there will be a, a correction, a liberal correction to this moment that will be good for liberalism. And that, that also strikes me as possible, so I don't see the, the evidence of it yet. But, so I actually have much less of an opinion about the badness of what happened last November than I did as a result of that conversation. And the, and the moment that I, it was not, I don't think it was, it wasn't me that changed his mind, but it was, it was my podcast with Robin is friendly with, Neil deGrasse Tyson just gave a, a talk somewhere, and Neil had been on my podcast, and when I brought up the AI threat problem, he said, well, I would just unplug it, or I would take a shotgun, and I would shoot it. <laughs> and I was trying to, to impress upon him how, how unrealistic that sounded, to no avail. But then Eliezer and I spoke about the alignment problem for two hours on the podcast, and so Neil quite graciously announced that that podcast had changed his mind.